amazing seaside resort. That looks like stuff. trash! YouTube, if there's one thing that you guys know I love, it's food. And guess what? Today we're back with another video where we are looking at the top 10 most expensive foods in the world. I don't know what to expect. Actually, I do. There's probably going to be truffle, gold flake, caviar. Um, 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 don't know what else, but I'm expecting these to be jaw-droppingly expensive. You guys have been loving the food videos, and I'm realizing more and more how synonymous my brand is and courage is with food. That it's time for me to start diving more into food on these channels, especially with right now where, I'm not gonna lie, gaming's in a little bit of a lull. Games are kind of trash right now, um, and I wanna do more fun content. So that's what we're gonna be working on. But for now, let's get into it. The top 10 most expensive foods in the world. The very rich are privy to an array of incredible experiences most home. of us will never come within shouting distance of, Aww. which is why we tend to regard them with a strange kind of jealous fascination. Sure. We'd all like to know, even if just for a day, what it's like to spend money like water, Ooh. fly on tricked out private jets, wake up in a multi-million dollar home, this and hang out with celebrities and supermodels. But if you're a foodie, we're about to give you several more reasons to be jealous, 10 of them to be exact. Assembled from all around the globe, these culinary delights mm -hmm. are off limits to all except those with ridiculous amounts of money to spend the most, expensive, the most expensive food, food items, items in the entire world in the world among the super rich yourself they'll empty your sushi. wallet just as quickly as they'll fill your stomach sushi oh four thousand dollar pizza we start things off with one incredible pizza, one you'll never find on the menu at Domino's. I don't doubt that. In 2006, world-renowned chef Dominico Crolla of Glasgow, Scotland, created a pie intended Scotland. for a St. Valentine's Day meal, which he dubbed the Pizza Royale 007. It's unclear why he chose the James Bond the reference. hell was that Perhaps made? he needed the super spy to hunt down all of his ultimate pizza's ingredients. Gold Among Lake. the pie's more extravagant toppings were caviar soaked in fine champagne, choice cuts of smoked salmon and lobster marinated in the finest cognac See, available. See, that's what and I expected. Good measure, he topped off the assembled pizza with a healthy Bro, a lot of these, a lot of these places, they have these meals that cost a ton of money and they crack open like a $70,000 bottle of cognac or scotch or wine or this. And it's like, well, what, what's the ingredients of the actual thing? They showed the caviar, they showed gold flakes. Four carat gold shavings. Fortunately, they, all of this decadence was for a good cause. See? The pie was created to raise funds for the Fred Hollows Foundation, oh! a nonprofit oh, that's with good. the goal of eradicating preventable blindness in developing countries. That's good. At auction on eBay, the pizza brought home a winning bid of $4,200, snatching the record for world's most expensive Wait. pizza from a slightly less extravagant white truffle pie created by Wait. London's Maze Restaurant, Hold on. which is owned by none other than famed chef Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay! I can't wait to try his food one day. Bro, the pizza sold on eBay? That's a thing? How did... Do they have quick delivery? Confection was once considered the world's most expensive dessert, and it can only be found in one place, at the Fortress Resort and Spa in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. At its base, it's simply a cassata, a traditional Italian sponge cake. Mm. But this cake has been tricked out with enough expensive Yo, fillings. comment down below. I, is regular cake or ice cream cake better? I'm an ice cream cake guy. If you give me an ice cream cake, bro, I will sit there and go... You just wait and see. To make it worth slightly less than your average Ice cream cake. car. The mm. cake itself is flavored with a fruit-infused Irish cream and filled what? with a mango and pomegranate compote with mm. a Dom Perignon Champagne Sabayon. Adorning the dessert will be hand-carved chocolate sculptures of the stilt fisherman, Dom. which can be seen throughout the area, along with delicate edible leaves of gold. And to top it all off, the dish is decorated with an 80-carat aquamarine stone. This incredibly you get flavored, keep sublimely that? constructed dessert is truly one of a kind. But if you want to indulge, bring that the platinum card. The amazing seaside resort may that boast sweet like starting a couple hundred dollars, but the stilt fisherman indulgence will tack a hefty $14,500. What's $14,000 on that? What, do I get to keep the fucking aquamarine stone? English Wagyu beef pie. $1,990 per slice, 16 grand the overall. The in in Lancashire, UK is home to the world's priciest beef and mushroom UK pie. Elf. It's a traditional dish enjoyed by Brits of all stripes. See, but this, this is, version, as you might have suspected, these uses pies. slightly fancier ingredients than tradition demands. I've never had one of these with, pies. The pie is stuffed with about $1,000 worth of Wagyu beef, which is only obtained from one of four breeds of cattle native to Japan. The chef Wait, hold on. Why do I look like that cow? Wagyu beef, which is only... A Why do I look like that cow? Like, that cow looks like how I would look if I was a cow. Look at how big its head is and short and stubby its legs are.
That's me in Calform. One of four breeds of cattle native to Japan. The chef then adds exquisite Matsutake mushroom. Not a mushroom guy. About a thousand dollars per pound. Wow. Red truffles in the requisite gold leaf are then added before marinating the entire mixture in two bottles of 1982 Chateau Moton Rothschild red wine, which itself rings up at about forty-two hundred dollars per bottle. Forty-two hundred dollars a bottle. That's how they always do these things, bro. Two bottles of that is eighty-two hundred gold leaf and truffle. They always do this in these food things, man. Expertly they just put crust. expensive alcohol. Champagne and can feed eight people. Which champagne. Is a good thing, because this is one bill you're going to want to split. The entire pie costs $15,900, or just a little under $2,000 per slice. But the chef claims that it's totally worth it to experience the best yeah. beef and mushroom pie you'll ever taste of in your Of course, life. the chef thinks it's worth it. He sells two a year to fucking idiots. <laughs> you barry melons. Melons are something of a delicacy in Japan since they're difficult mm. to grow there, which can make them pretty pricey. Oh, I didn't know that. Kansuke, a rare black watermelon grown only on the northern Japanese island of Hokkaido, is the world's most expensive watermelon. But it was put to shame in 2008 by a pair of cantaloupes which sold for over three times that amount at auction. What? The melons grown in the Yubari region of Hokkaido just from along with over a hundred others as part of a competition before the auction and took home the top prize. Just they for were melons? By a local restaurant owner and businessman for the princely sum of twenty-three thousand dollars. Why? Time, they were the most expensive melons ever sold. But in 2018, the president of a Japanese fruit and why? vegetable packaging company commemorated his firm's 30th anniversary. That I miss why they were that expensive. Purchasing two prize Yubaris for the equivalent of 29,251 US dollars. Hello. The melons were kept on display for a couple of months before being cut into pieces, which were given away for free to customers, just so a few lucky common people could experience the reportedly otherworldly taste of the king of melons. The otherworldly taste. Okay, so it's that good of a taste that it's worth that much money. The real death by chocolate, $25,000. The Serendipity 3 restaurant is mm. a New York landmark. I was going to say, that's in New York, isn't it? Several Hollywood feature films, including one Seren even titled Serendipity, wow. and famous for their frozen hot chocolate, which sounds a little counterintuitive. I've seen this place in these so videos. That Jackie Kennedy once tried to steal the recipe. Stop. Serendipity 3 produced a sundae called the Golden Opulence, mm. which was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's most expensive dessert in 2004. Gold. But All the it gold. only cost a mere $1,000. The restaurant's owners soon decided it was time to outdo themselves. Yep. And did they ever? I mean, that's, frozen what, you, chocolate. that's what you have to do, right? Like, if you're going to do something like that and, and, it, and it starts to get old for people, you've got to one up it. A decidedly higher end version of their famous dessert is made from a combination of 28 expensive chocolates from Africa and South America. Oh, that's it's good. topped with 23 karat gold shavings and a truffle imported from France. Ooh. And the drink is served in a gold lined crystal goblet adorned with an 18 karat white gold bracelet. Even the spoon it's served with is made of solid gold. And yes, you get to keep all the adornments, which is a good oh, thing. Oh, see? Because the frozen hotte chocolate will set you that's back a whopping better. $25,000. I mean, 25 grand? Would I ever do it? Fuck no! But at least you get to keep the gold spoon and the gold cup and the gold this. Gran Veas Los Cabos is a five-star resort in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. An area where you can probably taco. pick up a fantastic taco on any street corner. But if you're looking for a truly singular taco experience and have money to burn, oh, you no. want to stop by Gran Veas no. Frida Restaurant. I'm going to call this one no. a culinary masterpiece created by executive chef Juan Ligerio Acala. Oh, the there's the gold flake. expensive taco begins with Kobe beef and langoustine, a mm. type of prawn indigenous to Norway. Mm. Almas beluga caviar and black truffle brie cheese are added to the mix, along with a salsa made with exotic morita chili peppers. The taco is served in a gold flake infused corn tortilla, and you can see what true luxury tastes. You guys ever think less is more? A taco is the perfect example of less is more. The less that you have, the best tacos have like two ingredients that are just phenomenal. You can eat like seven of them. This is too decadent. Like it's too much, dude. $25,000. Like it looks beautiful, you've got but... that kind of money laying around, you might as well Well, like order... think of what you're eating. Gold flakes, truffle, wagyu, salsa, um, um, brie cheese. Drinks too. A handcrafted white gold and platinum bottle of Lay 925 Passion Azteca Ultra Premium Añajo Tequila can be served on the side for only an additional $150,000. That bottle costs more than the rest of the food so far combined. Speaking of oh, caviar, if you end up enjoying it on your incredibly pricey taco, you may want to hunt some down for yourself. Mm. It won't be easy. It's made from the pure white eggs of an endangered fish, the albino beluga sturgeon, and we don't which kill is them. Only found in the Caspian Sea. Also, the fish that the eggs are harvested from must be at least 100 years old. As you might expect, this what? makes almas caviar one of the rarest foods in the entire the, world. The fish are 100 the years old? The milk caviar is practically synonymous with a luxury lifestyle, but almas caviar is so scarce that what? even those who have the means to sample it might find it hard to come by. Oh! The white 
gold holds a place in the Guinness Book of World Records as was the most just... expensive caviar of all time. Around thirty-two thousand dollars for just a was that even allowed? Of, of course, Chef Alcala over at the Grand Velas Resort seems to have a pretty <sighs> good source. So if you have thirty-two thousand dollars lying around and just have to know what the fuss is all about, no. maybe he'll hook you up. No, no, thank you. Caviar's decent, but it's nothing like that. The pudding to end all puddings. The Lindith Howe Country House is a four-star hotel in. Lindith I knew it was going to be in the UK. UK. It's head if chef it's the word pudding, it's in the UK. Mark Guibert knows that his countrymen and women love a good pudding, mm -hmm. and apparently reasoned that the very, very rich ones they would do. need a very, very expensive pudding to satisfy their tastes. With 30. this in mind, he created the fanciest pudding on the planet, made from four varieties of Belgian chocolate, which are considered Wait, the best anywhere. In Wait, like an actual food, pudding? The blend are essences of peach, orange, and whiskey, along mm. with edible gold leaf and champagne-soaked caviar. There's always. The concoction is served. In an edible Fabergé egg. And then, just to up the fancy quotient as much as humanly possible, it's topped with an actual diamond. Just keep in mind that if you're planning a visit to Lindith Howe and want to sample the world's most expensive pudding, you need to order it three months in advance. Order it at least two weeks in advance. Oh, two? That's not bad. You get to keep the diamond. Questions I ask. Italian white Alba truffle, 160. The white Alba truffle, found only thousand. in the Longhe and Montferrat areas of northern Italy. Never been it's there. One of the priciest foods on earth. They're extremely hard to cultivate and highly sought after. But from October to November each year, you can visit the region's truffle fair, which attracts buyers from all four corners Dude, of the globe. Even regular truffles can fetch up to three hundred dollars per I pound. I want to go there. The white Alba, recognizable by its cream-colored flesh and distinctive marbling, is only for those with insane amounts of money to burn. They generally go this? from three thousand dollars to about twenty. $23,000 per pound, and some larger specimens have sold at auction for truly dizzying sums of money. A Hong Kong real estate investor shelled out $150,000 for a truffle weighing 3.3 pounds, and in 2010, a pair of them sold for a whopping $330,000. $330 grand for truffle. Bro, truffle is such a pungent and strong thing that you can totally get tired of it, in my opinion. Liquid gold. We melted down gold and you liquid the most and then you shit it out. A beverage, and there's only so much of it that exists in the world. It's is a it? 1907 Heitziek, far from the world's oldest champagne, what? but it certainly has a more interesting story than any vino any of us have ever tasted. In 1916, in the Swedish freighter Junkoping, which counted several cases of the wine in question among its cargo, was sunk by a German U-boat, and it remained at the bottom of the ocean for 80 Stop. years. Fortunately, these conditions were ideal for champagne storage. The pressure on the ocean floor was roughly the same as the inside of the bottle, and of course the precious cargo what? was shielded from life the ship was raised in 1997 and about 2,000 bottles were recovered <laughs> although not all how much did this go for condition. did i miss that far from the world sorry oh 225,000 okay the ship was raised in 1997 and about 2,000 bottles were recovered 2,000 those were in saleable condition you can buy the current vintage of the same champagne online for around 120 dollars per bottle okay but if you want to try the shipwrecked version which sources say is absolutely mind-blowing bottles are currently going at auction for an incredible 275 would would you ever do that if you had the money? Would you ever do that if you had the money? 275 grand to drink shipwrecked champagne. The difference is it was in a shipwreck and it stored well. Or you could get the other vintage of the bottle for 130 bucks. I think I know what I'm doing. Very few of these interested me. And that, and I expected that. Old flake this, shavings of caviar, expensive alcohol bottle. Where's the like the real like, I, I want like the, the expensive food. That's like the best ingredients for a real pasta. Like the best pasta, the best sauce, the best par parmesan, you know, the best bread to go with it. Instead here, you've got a taco with 48 different flavors on it that probably is worse than your normal street taco. That really fired me up. I'm like angry after watching that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed looking at the 10 most ridiculously expensive foods in the world. My ass will never eat any of them. Well, neither will any of us. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys want more food videos, be sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.